In this video, we'll be talking about pheochromocytoma. But before that, let's briefly learn about adrenal gland. Adrenal gland is made up of adrenal cortex, which constitutes about 80% of adrenal gland, and adrenal medulla, which constitutes about 20% of adrenal gland. Here in this picture, you can see the medulla, which is surrounded by the cortex on the outer side. But now we are only concerned about adrenal medulla because it is from where the tumor pheochromocytoma arises. Adrenal medulla is a neural crest derivative or neuroectodermal derivative. Medulla develops before the cortex at around 45 days of gestation. And it synthesizes three major hormones, all of which are derived from the amino acid tyrosine. The three hormones are adrenaline or epinephrine, noradrenaline or norepinephrine and dopamine. Out of these three, adrenaline is produced in maximum amount that is 80%, followed by noradrenaline 15 to 18% and then rarely dopamine. Adrenomedulin or vasodilator is actually produced by vascular endothelium, not adrenal medulla. Here is a simple flowchart of catecholamine synthesis. Amino acid tyrosine is acted upon by the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase to form DOPA. DOPA is then converted to dopamine with the help of an enzyme DOPA decarboxylase. Dopamine gets converted to norepinephrine by dopamine beta hydroxylase. And finally, the final step, norepinephrine gets converted to epinephrine by phenylethanolamine and methyl transferase. This enzyme is important because it is stimulated by the hormone cortisol secreted by adrenal cortex. This shows the physiological relation between cortex and medulla. This is also one of the reasons why epinephrine is produced in greater amount than other catecholamines. Now coming to the disease associated with medulla, that is pheochromocytoma. Although it is the most commonly asked adrenal disorder in exams, the disease itself is not very common. Pheochromocytoma is a catecholamine secreting neural crest cell tumors derived from comorphin cells. When it arises from adrenal medulla, we call it adrenal pheochromocytoma. But if it arises from other parts than adrenal, like sympathetic or parasympathetic ganglia, we call it extra-adrenal pheochromocytoma or paraganglioma. Previously, rule of 10 used to be applied for pheochromocytoma which stated that 10% of pheochromocytoma are extra-adrenal, 10% are bilateral and 10% could be malignant. But now, this rule is outdated and not used anymore because it was found that extra-adrenal pheochromocytoma are actually 25% and adrenal pheochromocytoma are 75%. Out of 25% extra adrenal pheochromocytoma, 20% arise from sympathetic ganglia, most commonly from organ of Jocker Kindle, and remaining 5% arise from parasympathetic ganglia in carotid body or jugular bulb. Adrenal pheochromocytoma most commonly secrete adrenaline than noradrenaline. It's because of the enzyme phenylethanolamine and methyltransferase that converts the secreted noradrenaline to adrenaline. But extraadrenal pheochromocytoma exclusively secrete noradrenaline because of lack of the same enzyme outside the adrenal gland. 60% of pheochromocytoma are sporadic and 40% are familial, which are associated with syndromes like MEN2, von hippel lindau disease and neurofibromatosis 1. 30 to 40 percent are bilateral. Usually it's the familial cases that present with bilateral pheochromocytoma. Now on the clinical presentations, most common presentation is panic attack. It is characterized by classical triad of episodic headache, profuse sweating and tachycardia. These symptoms are produced due to increased amount of catecholamines by the tumor. And the tumor produces catecholamines in a pulsatile manner, hence the symptoms are episodic. Patient might also present with episodic hypertension, which is due to vasoconstricting action of catecholamines. 
or sometimes there can also be orthostatic hypertension which might be due to prolonged vasoconstriction. Remember 6Ps and 1W for features of pheochromocytoma. Pain, meaning abdominal pain which is due to hypercalcemia. Pallor, if seen, might be suggestive of malignancy because in benign form the tumor secretes erythropoietin which actually causes polycythemia. Next P stands for panic attack, palpitation, perspiration, postural hypertension and lastly W stands for weight loss. Heart is the most commonly affected organ by the increased catecholamines. It's also known as pheocardiomyopathy. The effect on the heart is increase in heart rate, increase in excitability, oxygen consumption increases and force of contraction also increases. Carbohydrate metabolism might be affected causing diabetes mellitus. Effect in calcium metabolism causes hypercalcemia. And lastly, the plasma volume decreases, hence there is orthostatic hypertension. Now on the investigations, since pheochromocytoma secrete catecholamines in a pulsatile manner, we do not look for catecholamines in the plasma. Instead, we look for their metabolites in the urine. The metabolites are fractionated metanephrines and vanillyl mandelic acid. For screening, 24-hour urine fractionated metanephrin test is done which has 98% sensitivity and 98% specificity. If the test comes negative, we do plasma fractionated metanephrine test which has 100% sensitivity but has only 40% specificity. This is the reason why we don't do it in the first place. If the test is positive, investigation of choice is done. As investigation of choice, gallium dotated scan is preferred over MRI or CT scan. This picture shows the metabolism of catecholamines by enzymes MAO or COMT. Now finally in the treatment section, the definitive treatment is surgery. For sporadic cases, laparoscopic retroperitoneal adrenalectomy is preferred but for familial cases, bilateral partial adrenalectomy is done. There is high chances of patient getting exposed to very high amount of catecholamines during the surgery. So it is very important to prepare the patient. First, the intravascular volume repletion is done. Isotonic saline can be used for this. Seven days prior to surgery, irreversible non-selective alpha blocker is given, that is phenoxybenzene. And three days prior to surgery, beta blocker propanolol is given. So that's it for pheochromocytoma. Thank you.